What's up everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. We're going to look at something special today. It's called Assistant by Beaver Builder. It's a surprise plugin, a surprise product by the team over there at Beaver Builder and it's in its infancy. So version 0.10 came out yesterday as of this recording. Um, and we're gonna take a look at how to use that today. It's like this overlay, this dashboard for the front end of your WordPress website that gets you access to things like pages, posts, uh, modifying comments, replying to comments, uh, modifying users, and it's got a few other cool things in there like uploading media. So it's really left a lot of people saying like, why this product, why this plugin? And I think Beaver Builder team has been pretty good at just saying, hey, look, we're, we're, we worked on this at the beginning of the year. We just wanna get this out there. We're gonna develop on it as we go, but maybe, just maybe, we're not gonna throw everything in the kitchen sink at it yet. So I'm gonna show you how to use it first and foremost. And then after I show you how to use it and some of the cool features in there, we're gonna theorize about how Assistant might slot into the WordPress ecosystem. Let's dive right into that tutorial right now. So I've activated Assistant and in the back end, there are no other settings for me to, to change or modify. And the existence of Assistant is nowhere to be found uh, in the admin section. We have to go to the front, uh, front end of our WordPress site uh, in order to see that. And once we go to the front end, we have our uh, little panel on the right-hand side and the UI and the interface and the look and feel is very akin to Beaver Builder uh, page builder and how it all works. And on this first app, as uh, Beaver Builder refers to it as, this first app is just like a recently edited, recent comment, sort of like this overview, if you will, um, of the different content changes happening throughout your site. We head over to the pages, posts, categories, and tags section, and you have just a list of all of your content here. And by clicking on the arrow, it's actually gonna bring you to that particular page on the front end of your site. And if you click the title, it pulls up a quick edit. Uh, window for you to, you know, do those quick edit um, changes that you might do in the admin dashboard uh, of WordPress, but you're here visibly in the front. You can click on edit and that will bring you to the actual page to edit in the back end. And you can't get back to assistant directly from here. You have to go back to visit the site and then it'll bring you uh, back to pulling up this panel. Uh, you can access your images here. You can access your users and modify users here, that kind of thing. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, as it stands right now. It's a version 0.1. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more uh, developments to this. Uh, the only few settings you have here is reduce motion, which I believe is like that snapping, bouncing kind of thing that it does. Um, and then the panel position, so either right or left if you wanna change this around um, as you use it. Notification gives you all these notifications of comments and updates and things like that. So. This is really interesting. I really like the user interface of this so far. Again, not much to see in terms of setup and configuration. Um, and it's giving you this broad brush stroke of accessing different areas of your site all on the front end of WordPress, but detached from the core WordPress experience. Let's get back into the video. All right, now that we saw uh, Assistant by Beaver Builder in action, you saw that it's pretty lightweight. It's pretty straight to the point, not much going on. Um, but it's giving you this nice dashboard, this nice overlay to manage your WordPress website. And I think it's kind of cool. I like the UI. Um, in fact, I like the UI of Beaver Builder and how far it's come. But let's just theorize about why this, why this app, why this plugin, why this concept of assistant and installable apps in a sort of a Docker situation. If you take a look at Gutenberg and you take a look at blocks, blocks are going to replace plugins or the concept of plugins, I think. Um, from the real end user, the person who's not technically savvy or really interested in building uh, WordPress websites for money, there will be a world where you're not searching for plugins, you're searching for blocks. And to add a block becomes super easy. But the big question right now is, who controls that? Where does that come from? Um, there's a lot of debate around these centralized block repositories. Ain't no different than plugin repository, except it's such an archaic word. It's something that a lot of technical people or non-technical people can get sort of afraid to uh, dive into. And when you think about it, when WordPress was developed and the concept of plugins were developed, there were no app stores. Uh, iTunes didn't exist. Google Play didn't exist. The, the concept of installing an app on a phone to get a piece of software didn't exist. I think Assistant by Beaver Builder is trying to introduce this layer for the future of 
WordPress and how people are going to install this stuff. And if Beaver Builder can get a step ahead of that, well, maybe they can introduce a centralized way to install blocks or plugins or apps as they call them. Maybe a, a catapult or a framework for other people to introduce a app like Marketplace or sign up for the assistant marketplace to get apps in uh, to WordPress. What frightens me is the challenge of experience and the experience of WordPress. And as I tweeted today, and I've said this many times on this channel and on podcasts, Automatic's biggest challenge to get WordPress more widely adopted is to streamline the experience. They need to do that by overtaking the experience of installing, onboarding, and generally configuring your WordPress website. We've seen this now with Gutenberg. And in fact, today, I noticed that the tagline for Jetpack is the most ideal way to experience WordPress. That is just one word away from saying the best way to experience WordPress is Jetpack. And that's the challenge that we all are faced with when we're onboarding WordPress to customers who are not technically savvy. It's the challenge of using WordPress and it's the experience from plugin authors to competing theme authors to competing plugins and things not working well together. People just want a nice seamless experience. Assistant might be that bridge for all things Beaver Builder. It might be a world that opens up an ecosystem for other developers to come in and say, hey, look, we can put our apps and use the Beaver Builder Assistant to deliver these apps or these blocks or these pieces of software to the end user. That's one idea that I have for Assistant. The other idea I have for Assistant is WordPress, WordPress in the enterprise or big business. Beaver Builder is poised to, I think, dominate that market for the simple fact is they don't iterate as fast as like an Elementor or maybe even a Gutenberg. And I think that's a good thing because in bigger business and corporations or people who are just sort of, look, I don't need bleeding edge stuff. I don't need all the fancy features. I just need to be able to build a great, reliable website. I think Beaver Builder is poised to win in that market. And that's what I'm really interested in seeing in the future. So things that Beaver Builder can bake into Assistant are, you know, uh, publishing workflows when, when people who are creating content need to have multiple people sign off on it, when um, administrators or management needs to see a, a revision history of actions that have happened throughout an entire site, or they need to bake in some of their own branding or uh, content from other systems in an organization. I think that Beaver Builder Assistant could be that nice little conduit to make the connections uh, for larger sites, people who are doing some more customized things with WordPress. And I think that's a pretty cool advantage that the Beaver Builder team can bake in to their tool. My third theory is there's just some crazy headless CMS thing happening uh, with Assistant. And in the future, as they uh, mature the software and open up the API, maybe this is just the building blocks, no pun intended, to some kind of hosted solution with Beaver Builder and site building and maybe peeling away from WordPress entirely and just having this editor, this CMS out on the web, uh, and they just use Assistant to mature that uh, you know, in the process. I don't think that that one's really going to come true, but I'll give that the old 2% uh, chance mark and maybe we'll revisit this discussion in a year or so. But I'm really intrigued by Assistant. I'm intrigued by what the team at Beaver Builder does in general, um, you know, in the face of so much competition, both from WordPress and other um, page builders like an Elementor, uh, which have seemed to eclipse their install base. Uh, so this is an interesting move by my friends over at Beaver Builder. I hope you give it a shot. See what it's like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to try Assistant out? Are you going to use it on client sites? Are you going to be interested in developing apps for it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. It's PluginTut.com, PluginTut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. If you like videos like this, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.